Well, guys, this is a heartbreaking story. And this afternoon, for the first time, we are hearing from the victims that baby's mother, Deja Lee, and she's telling a little bit of a different story than what authorities are saying what happened last night. Now, the Union County Sheriff's Office says that Deja Lee and her one old son, Caden Lee Welch, were heading to Wadesboro. They were traveling down NC 218 when the mother apparently went around the road barricades and continued on down the road. That's when she encountered some serious rushing floodwaters that just swept her car right after the road. Now, she was able to free herself from the car and she was also able to get her one year old son out from his car seat, but that's when tragedy struck. The rush, the rushing floodwaters were so quick, they were so fast and strong that he just got swept away. The mother was taken to the hospital, and meanwhile, this morning, we know that little Caden, his body was found earlier this morning. Now, we did, as I mentioned, got a chance to speak to Deja Lee. Listen to what she had to say when she came upon that road closure. Yes, I saw you. people coming in and out. So that's when I, I was about to detour, but I stopped. I saw cars coming in and out, so I thought... You was, thought I was okay? So that's mom Deja Lee saying, claiming that those barricades had been moved to the side and she felt that she could go through. But here on scene, let me tell you what I see. This is NC 218 at Fish Row. These are not necessarily the barricades that Deja Lee found, but we watched DOT put those four cones on top of these road blockades. So they're taking this very seriously. They do not want anybody traveling down 218 here in Union County. We've already seen some of the areas extreme flooding the roads as well as the area around it very wet. So. Ben and Rachel, this is the advice you need to take here in Union County, especially as we listen to this heartbreaking mother's story.